Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Silent Mike, and I am here to fix your form. Today, we got a little bench press. If you want to get involved, we need 70% landscape, high definition, three reps. Sent to askmikke at gmail.com. We're here to try to help your bench. If you guys enjoy this series, if you enjoy this channel, please do your boy a favor. Smash the thumbs up right now. Let's see if we hit 1,500 likes, and be sure to subscribe. My man's got that arch of the gods. Self lift off in the gym, I dig it. Angle's pretty decent, bar path pretty decent. When we're looking to bench, we do not repeat, do not want to press in a straight line. We want a slight arc, and if you can look at the, the head or the <clears throat> butt or the tail or whatever it is, the tip, if you know what I'm saying, of that barbell from that position, it looks great. And he's touching a good spot on his chest. We want the elbows just under, if not just in front of the barbell. And as we press, we want to press up and back towards the rack. That's kind of the, the bend and flare the elbow that many of people have talked about over the years. Um, from that one angle, it looked really, really good, man. Let's see what we got here. Back looks tight, decent position. Overall, I'd say this is a really, really good bench press. Um, if you can get your knees just slightly even more below your hips, you're gonna be able to get a little bit tighter and push yourself back onto your traps. So uh, I like this guy's efficiency and thoroughness with the videos. So basically what we want with leg drive is we want to squeeze our shoulders together, right? We want our scapula retracted. Uh, you want to think about shrugging back and down. Uh, it's going to keep our shoulder socket a little bit more stable and give us a nice uh, stabil uh, stability when we're pressing. Um, but then with our legs, what we want is our, our knees below our hips. And then we're going to be flexing our quads and glutes and pushing our entire body, our entire momentum back onto our traps. So right here, his knees are below his hips, but you can see his butt raise up just a little bit. If you can tuck your heels in a little bit more and still keep your heels onto the ground, maybe even a weightlifting shoe would help, uh, and then keep flexing yourself back onto those traps, it's going to help a lot. We're going to go slow-mo like this is ESPN. Midnight ESPN highlight plays, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Bench Brush Championship, the Garage Championship of YouTube. This is Silent Mike, your host. With the most. We're building pecs. We're not having sex or shooting text or whatever it might be. Oh, you already have weightlifting shoes on, so that's good. Uh, what I think you could do, my homie, is if you could squeeze those heels in a little bit more towards your butt or a little bit more towards your shoulders, just a hair, um, and then you'll be able to flex your quads and glutes without them raising at all. You'll also just be able to stay tighter overall. But overall, guys, <clears throat> to be honest, I know I just said overall a few times. Overall, in its entirety, uh, this is a really, really clean bench press, really a textbook bench press. If you guys are looking to bench, Follow my man right here. Uh, I, I wish I had his Instagram. I'd shout him out because uh, it's really, really solid. The setup's good. There's multiple ways to set up. Some people like to set up from the bottom up, meaning what they do is they'll pull more of their body behind the barbell right there in this position, pulling yourself up, plant your feet, and then plant your traps. Uh, the other most common way is to, uh, which I do if you guys have seen me bench press, is I like to get my feet up onto the bench press. I literally put them on the pad and I like to set my traps first and then with my hands uh, firm on the bar, I, I wedge my traps into the pad and then I place my feet onto the ground and continue to push myself into the barbell and almost wedge, if my arms are totally locked, I wedge my shoulders in between the pad and my arms as stiff boards into the barbell, if that makes sense. And then I put my feet down. Uh, depending on the federation, if you want to compete or if you do compete, um, the USAPL, the IPF, federations of that nature, force you to keep your head down on the bench press and heels down onto the floor. Many other federations, you can move your head and you can be on your toes. Um, I don't think there's a lot of advantage for most. There's a few, but for most in moving your head, I do think that for many people though, uh, being on your toes, again, can help that uh, stability uh, with the leg drive and pushing yourself onto your traps a little bit. So if you can get onto your toes, you can then make the angle from your hip to your knee um, greater, and then you can flex your quads and glutes a little bit harder while still not wiggling around and keeping your glutes on the bench. Um, just to go over some common questions, because my man here's bench needs no more help. He's fucking crushing it. <laughs> Uh, to go over common stuff, you know, uh, grip width on the bench. Some of it's going to be trial and error. Some of it's going to take time to experiment. You know, use a grip, a certain grip for maybe four or six weeks, see how it feels, uh, and then switch it up, see how it goes. But generally speaking, you know, things we're looking for is how, how tight can you keep your back? Uh, and then it, can you keep your elbows in a proper, elbows and wrists in a proper position uh, in, in uh, relation to the barbell throughout the entire press? Again, that's going to be underneath the barbell. You want that forearm stacked. Uh, and then also... Uh, the elbow just in front of the barbell as you're pressing. So uh, I think a wider grip for most 
as wide as you can go, obviously that's relative, is going to be a little bit better because you can cut that range of motion, adjust a hair. Um, but again, it's going to depend on the individual. We're moving on to the next one. Can't tell if we're in slow-mo or if my man just moves a little slow. So right here, already off the jump, I can just tell, right? We want to talk about uh, comparing it to the other one. We had our knees below our hips. Here we do not. And what that can automatically tell me is if you look up the chain towards his upper body, his shoulders are not in a tight position. His shoulders are exposed and he's pressing a little bit with his shoulders. The shoulder joint is very mobile, right? We have to reach above our head. We have to tie our shoes. It moves in almost a 360. So that's the kind of the point of the scapular retraction or keeping your back tight is we want to lock that shoulder joint in place and almost just press with our arms, right? So if you think about shrugging, we shrug back and down as I mentioned, and we want to keep that shoulder and back tightness throughout the entire lift off, press, pause, the entire set. Um, so right here, my man's shoulders moving a little bit too much and his head as I mentioned. I think it's very few that get away or take an advantage or get an advantage, excuse me, of your moving head. So two things my man that I really want you to work on. I want you to work on finding a way. There's two different ways of getting your knees below your hips. Uh, one for you would be move your feet further out in a wide direction or to tuck them slightly back towards your butt. The other thing we really need you to work on, similar to a pull apart with a band or a face pull with a rope, is we need to keep those shoulders retracted. If you can get a lift off, it's going to be easiest to keep that shoulder tight the entire time. That's why I recommend lift offs whenever we can, because then you don't have to uh, over press, pressing with your shoulders, press the bar out of the rack and then get in the position. You can have someone lift it for you. You can see right here, his back isn't even too tight right now. And then when he lifts it out of the rack, his back gets even looser. So what we can try to do is get a lift off. Um, you can see the shoulders are exposed right there. That's going to cause one, it can cause some shoulder pain. It's putting a lot of stress onto the deltoid itself. Um, that's why an arch occurs sometimes because when we have that scapular retraction or our chest high and our back tight, we get a little bit of an arch. Um, but more importantly, uh, the issue is, is the stability in the shoulders. You can control your elbows. You can control your barbell a little bit more. Uh, when your shoulders are stable. And that goes for all lifts. The more stable we are, the more we can represent and show our strength. Uh, in an unstable situation, it's more difficult to transfer the power, uh, in, in which case this is from your body pushing into that bench uh, or in the squat, your legs pushing to the ground. If we're not stable, if we're not tight, as uh, the, the, you know, the term everyone screams out, get tight, get tight. That's what they're referring to. Um, elbow position overall is decent, uh, but we really, really have to work on that back tightness, my man. Uh, because somehow, some way, I don't want it to happen to you. That's why I want you to fix it now. But uh, you may get injured or you're going to hit a big plateau or you're going to get a, a crap ton of tendonitis in that shoulder. So work on it while you're standing. Work on it with some face pulls and get a lift off our training partner. But really tuck those shoulders down and back. And then overall, uh, again, getting those knees below your hips. Pushing yourself back onto your traps uh, will allow you to maintain that tightness. So you need to get that tightness just by thinking about it, practicing it and actually doing it uh, and then pushing yourself back onto those traps will allow you to keep it throughout the entire range or the entire press or the entire set if you're doing it properly so it is a little counter it's, a, it's one of the most difficult things to kind of think of because you're squeezing and you're almost rowing with your shoulders while you're pushing or pressing uh, with your arms and pecs you know when you're doing a push-up your shoulders do move and you run we don't we do not I repeat do not have scapular retraction and that's the biggest difference between something like a push-up and something like a barbell bench press so those are uh, big cues we need you to work on. We're moving on to our last one. Let's see what we got. He's got the sneakers matching the, the top. Even right there, you can tell his shoulders are exposed a little bit. Uh, this weight looks very light for my man. He seems very strong. Um, two things, again, uh, leg positioning. I'd like to see toes a little bit straighter. It makes it a little bit easier to flex your quads and your glutes. It's also going to put less stress on your knees in the long run. So kicking your heels out and then pushing or excuse me pulling your heels back in towards your gluteus the other thing is even right there you can see the shoulders are a little exposed they're a little pressed forward uh, you, can, you guys can just even do it while you're sitting or standing or driving or well, hopefully not driving but whatever you're doing watching this video you can move your shoulders forward and then we want to move our shoulders as far back as we can and we always want them as far back as we can uh, another thing i'd recommend for my man right here uh, although that grip looks fine and your elbows are in a decent position right there 
I do think in the long run, you'll be a little bit better off with a wider grip, especially once that back gets a little bit tighter. Um, I do like that you have a lift off because your shoulders don't change from your setup to your pressing, but the shoulders weren't that tight to begin with. So we need to, everyone need to work on some pull apart, some face pulls, find a sensation of scapular retraction, and then we need to execute it on the bench press. Shout out to my mans in the background doing the preacher curl, get swole club. Appreciate it, everybody for listening. Silent Mike, tell your friends. Videos Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm out of here.